Welcome everybody here to our next webinar about uh, JFT Invest uh, Trading and Investing Simplified. My name is Stefan Friedrichowski, as always, for the English part of uh, JFT Invest. Um, I'm uh, glad to have you here, so many people around and being interested in JFD Invest. Yeah, warm welcome in the name of JFD Bank, the new name uh, as well. Um, and uh, what we do today is we talk about uh, JFD Invest. You may know already what JFD Invest is about, and that's a digital wealth management platform. So what you finally can do is you can uh, have your own invest account and uh, you finally act as a portfolio manager in terms of uh, that you select what which strategies you would like to follow. And uh, we will talk about that and how it works. And finally, it means that those trades um, you follow, those trades are mirrored or better to say copied into your account. And uh, so you get the same results as a master account of professional traders uh, account. So that's a quite cool platform. It's still trading by your own in terms of selecting according to your own preferences, which strategies you like to follow, your own risk settings um, for those individual strategies. So you're still involved, but uh, finally the trades itself are managed by professional traders, which is yeah, a good thing to have that as part of your investment uh, overall. You see already my email address, so finally, if you have some further questions, no problem, don't hesitate to send me an email, drop me a note, and um, I will help you um, immediately, or you write an email to support at uh, jfdbrokers.com, or now you can even use jfdbanks.com uh, as well, but uh, both is uh, still possible. Before we finally start okay you know the procedure i have always to show once uh, that risk disclaimer slide here because uh, we talk about trading and uh, of course uh, trading means always uh, risk is involved and uh, that should be mentioned uh, and additionally of course it should be mentioned that you do some steps by your own and of course you do all those steps on your own responsibility i think that that's quite self-explaining so the special topics today is, of course, we will talk about the highlights of last week, which is the strategy Hyperion, which is uh, really uh, doing quite well. It's close to 100% growth. And uh, yeah, that is uh, quite good to mention. And um, we will talk about that strategy much more in detail uh, than before, because I want to be invested in that strategy as well. And uh, I collected some additional information about that strategy. And maybe you have realized that over the last couple of months or weeks, I have been hesitating to invest into that strategy. But there's a good reason why I have been hesitating. And now there's a good reason why I want to jump into strategy Hyperion. And therefore, I will explain and talk about that strategy much more in detail uh, than before. Uh, as the other highlight is, as always, is my personal JFD Invest account. Uh, we have a look to that as well, because it's now heading 45% gross profit uh, within seven months. I think those numbers are, um, yeah, quite well. Uh, and we talk about my current allocation and how to manage that kind of portfolio. Okay, let's get started here. Um, so we want to start with the highlights of last week. So that is Hyperion. You see already the growth uh, here, and uh, you can see that's uh, really performing quite well uh, since March last uh, year, So, it, which is uh, more or less exactly one year. You see a growth of close to 100%. Okay. That strategy is trading Dax and Dow Jones, uh, more or less only. Uh, so it's completely investing in indices and that's one reason why we have that strategy as addition here within JFD West because more or less all the other strategies are trading 
uh, forex pairs only. Uh, so that is um, a complete different kind of strategy. So yeah, it's good to mention uh, that as well. But maybe still you ask yourself, hey, what is JFT West exactly about? Let's have a look. So what you, uh, if you try to invest or if you want to follow me here, then it's, the procedure is quite simple. You go to the um, JFT Bank homepage here and then you go for investing. There we have a button for JFT Invest. And uh, then you are already close to um, investing. So let's first scroll down. You see already here, we have five the five top performing strategies. Um, and that gives you already an overview of what numbers we are talking about here by those um, strategies. So you see the hit, uh, the hit list is heading, headed by Hyperion, which has last week the best one, but uh, yeah, this uh, overall uh, at all. So that's Hyperion close to 100 return in percent. Wow. That's a number, but you see the other ones are performing quite well uh, indeed. And you see already some key figures, which are quite important uh, when it comes to your personal selection of those trading strategies. And of course, return is important, but not all. There's always other things like drawdowns or even what's called equity balance deviation. Equity balance deviation uh, is the number which describes uh, the floating losses uh, of open positions. You know, you have in a trading account, you have always two numbers. One is your equity and one is your balance. Balance is always all closed trades and equity is balance, including all open trades. And of course, there might be open trades in the minus. And that number is equity balance deviation. You see there's um, huge differences between those accounts. And you see already a little bit uh, the, the normal statement, um, yeah, the more risk, the more return is achievable. And that's already reflected in those numbers as well. That are the five top performers. In total, we have 11 strategies, and you will see next month there will be a couple more uh, coming in April. Uh, they are already ready to start. And what you have to do, if you like, uh, in order to be part of JFD Invest, you open a JFD Invest profile on that web page here. So you sign up, that's all. And that is just uh, your email address and the password you uh, select, and then you have your own profile. Next step would be to open a JFD Invest account, which is a special account for uh, just the, those copy trading activities. So you cannot do your own trades in terms of, hey, I want to open a long trade on Euro, US dollar. No, that's not possible. But the good thing is that kind of account is um, a professional account with a leverage of 1 to 100 uh, because you follow professionals. Therefore, you get the same conditions uh, for that account. If you don't can execute any uh, uh, trades by your own, of course, uh, you can understand that those two things should not be mixed up. Still, you can have your own JFD account then uh, and trade by your own directly there. Here, it's just meant to follow those kind of strategies, uh, like mentioned before. Finally, you connect those to your profile with your account, and then you can start uh, yeah, trading uh, in terms of following strategies. You can have already a view on JFD Invest just by pressing guest access. Then you can see a couple of strategy or you can see more or less uh, nearly the same than if you have your own profile. Uh, the difference is uh, about open trades or closed trades. You can see more of the uh, trading history if you have your own profile. Anyhow, here you see it's not only five strategies, uh, it's in total 11. So we have already a second page. Next uh, month, we will fill that page as well. And you see again that you have key figures for all those kind of strategies. And that's important to talk about key figures because we or you finally do your own selection process, meaning you want to follow a strategy, but I always recommend to do it only after you have been uh, reviewing that kind of strategy, which you look, 
we want to follow. Uh, and we will do that step. Let's first do that review process uh, about Hyperion, for example. Um, then you get a little bit more familiar with our platform um, itself. So we, we have all the details like uh, current balance of that account, current equity, and you see, okay, there's a difference, minus 600 euros. Uh, so there are open trades, which as we speak, are in the minus at least in some, and um, that is uh, minus 600 euro. Okay, that's one thing you get to know here already on the starting page. Then you can see, of course, the growth of that account, which is now heading to 100. Um, I think that will be done next month, uh, more or less certainly. And you see the monthly return table. Uh, and okay, there have been months with a minus. Uh, the highest minus has been July last year. But on the other hand, you see that we have strategies with history, live trading history. And all those strategies we show up here uh, have been in a review process before they can be uh, publicly here. And yeah, that review process is a huge step those strategies have to, to fulfill. Uh, and that's good that we have a team of experts uh, at JFD who are doing that kind of job because finally they do the selection process and you follow those strategies. Therefore, we take it quite serious to have a very good review process. There's a lot of other information you can see here. And uh, for example, you see all the statistics about those trading activities. And you can even go one step further. You can see the traded instruments. So that's one part maybe of how you look and and how you do your selection process. In this case, you can see that more or less all trades are executed on Dux and Dow Jones. Um, in total, there have been 1,600 trades over the last year. So there are statistics behind. It's not a few lucky winners. And then we show up that kind of strategy here. Nope. Um, it's really statistics behind, which is quite well. And you can see even all closed trades. And uh, yeah, if I go uh, to the very end, then you can see, okay, uh, yesterday have been uh, some trades be, have been closed for that strategy. Okay, let's once again go for our review process because of what I want to talk about that strategy much more. So we see that we have a quite huge growth, which is excellent. But on the other hand, you can see, okay, there has been an equity balance deviation of 40%. Let's have a look to that a little bit more in detail. So um, therefore, we have a graph for that uh, floating losses, which occur anytime if you trade. And you can see how it develops over time. And of course, there has been a high, you know, huge minus uh, in September last year. And now you can see since a couple of months, there's a difference. Okay, let's talk about that a little bit later. What we have else here as key figures, we show up the real equity of that, um, that account. Okay, first thing you, you, you might realize here, hey, whoops, what's that step down here? Uh, quite simple, that was a withdrawal. So, um, the trader behind that strategy simply took out um, in, at that step here um, more or less uh, 26,000 uh, euros. Um, you know, it's his right to, to, to get some money out. He wants to live from that money. So, of course, after earning uh, those uh, 15 here, he mm, took out uh, 20. Five or twenty-six uh, uh, k euros. Okay, that's a good thing for that trader. I think we agree. But here's something else. We have here two green lines, and one is a balance, and one is the equity. And then you can obviously see the equity balance deviation here again. And again, you can see since three months um, there has been a difference. So. All those steps, looking for the equity, looking for the growth, looking for equity balance deviation is for me extremely important for that selection process, which strategies I would like to follow. 
And I can only rec recommend that you do similar steps like I do here. So a uh, question about traded instruments, DAX, Dow Jones, Perfect, especially in those times here. Uh, you might remember last week we talked about strategies which are related to British Pound. And in my uh, personal JFD Invest account, I, I'm hesitating to go for those strategies because we have still those, that ongoing discussion about Brexit. So that might be an alternative going for DAX and Dell Jones. And it's good that's already two symbols. I like it. But now, I mentioned up to now I have been hesitating to, to go into that strategy. And the simple reason has been that equity balance deviation, which was really huge. But now things have changed, at least what we can see. During the last three and a half months, equity balance deviation have been in the order of 5%, uh, which would mean according to the uh, current balance, uh, about five, 600, 700 uh, euros. It's exactly the same number as we speak here. Okay, but now the good thing is, those strategies are not static. We have a team of experts who talk to those professional tra traders and they exchange a lot of additional information and we challenge those traders to improve their strategies. And of course, the strategy itself here is, yeah, is a top performer. We know uh, having close to 100% in one year, so doubling the account is really a great result. But on the other hand, we have had too high equity balance deviation. So those potential or, or temporarily drawdowns um, have been a little bit too high. So we we talk in, in depth about that strategy and the other experts was directly with that trader in Bulgaria, by the way. And um, we, we, we saw some, some features we can improve or some elements of that strategy. And we did that step and finally, as you can see, since the last three months, uh, we achieved and finally the trader achieved very good improvements in terms of, of having lower equity balance deviations. Yeah, that's, that's perfect. We know exactly what happened here. So we know exactly what happened here and we, we found a way how to avoid those things. Anyhow, that doesn't mean does it, that, that this will never occur once again. As always, nobody can promise certain profit or certain key figures of a given strategy. No, definitely is the, the answer is no. But at least we know what we did and we did some improvements. And finally, the trader uh, executed everything extremely well. So we have now a much better strategy than before. Do we still have that kind of growth? Okay. Uh, there has been one uh, enormous step that was during those months. Um, and since beginning of the year, still we have a very good growth. So let's start here. We, we are at 65% and now we are at 30% uh, higher. So 30% within those three months still is a, a very good result. Uh, so still we have profits. Okay, sometimes it went even south. So that really looks good. Now it comes to the step we want to start following that strategy. Okay, let's go first for the details we can see here as well. And you, here you get some additional information as well. You see that already 22 investors are following that strategy in total with 78K. Good. And you see what's important for you as well. You see, can see the so-called minimum investment sum you need to in order to follow that uh, strategy. Okay. That's a minimum. And if you go with that minimum, in this case, it means mm, you are a little bit on risk. Um, why am I saying that? We, we went to the key figures and you saw that for this account here, um, which is a little bit above a 10K account, the trades are executed to 0.1 lot for Dax and Dow Jones, which is the minimum lot size. So if you follow that strategy with uh, any number which is smaller than the actual balance here, um, then it means all your trades are copied one-to-one -one in terms of lot size, because we cannot go beyond the minimum lot size. That means that 
potential or floating minus of 600 euros would be one to one in your account. So I personally would not go with 1.5k a year. I would go starting maybe at three or even a higher number and then um, following that strategy. Still having in mind, if we have a floating loss like today, uh, about 6%, which is six 700 euros. Okay, let's think maybe the double still, that would be 10% or um, 12%. So in my account, it would be a minus of 1,200 euros. So we have to, to keep that in mind that, that we need that much uh, buffer here. Okay, having you have you that, let's go in my account. Uh, because that is the other topic as always within that webinar. And um, so now here we are in my account, uh, my JFD Invest account, which is a portfolio of strategies. Uh, let's quickly go through those uh, key figures we have here. So it's um, already exceeding 45% total growth. Um, starting at 10K, at the very beginning of JFD Invest, and now at um, close to uh, 3,500 euro profit. Hey, you might think, hmm, there's 44%. Why not showing 4,500 euro? Okay, there's one additional thing I have to mention. We have a performance fee, which is 25%, um, but only you pay it only if there are profits and you pay it according to the high watermark principles. So only if a given strategy is reaching new a highs at the month's end, uh, then indeed you have to pay that kind of um, performance fee. I still think that's fair because it's high watermark. So uh, up and down, up and down, up and down doesn't count. And uh, on the other hand, if I have profits, okay, then I don't care. As I'm doing here, I mean, still I have more than uh, close to 35% profits within uh, seven months. So why not? So that's good. Current allocation of my JFD Invest account, which represents exactly what you might do with your JFD Invest account as well. You can do all the same steps like I do, because what I'm doing here is yeah, nothing else here than you can do. Uh, you see, I'm currently following six strategies, and um, I'm already invested with 10K. So I've unallocated money of uh, 2K, a little bit more than 2K. And I mentioned, hmm, that's not enough, at least not for me, in order to follow a period. So what are the steps I would do here? So first step, I would step out of at least one account. And in this case, um, Archimedes, I like that strategy, but that's the one I would now take out here. And how you do it is just an action. So what you are doing here is stop allocation, and then you are done. Good. That's easy. I... The reason, the only reason why I'm not doing it here, because I have another webinar later today. Um, today I do the same in, in, in German. So I finally do all those steps uh, down there. So then I stop that. And then all I have to do is the next step. And that I do at least virtually here as we speak. Uh, I go to find strategies and then follow. I press that follow button. And you can see I want to follow Hyperion. I could do already now because my available balance for that is um, exceeding the minimum investment. Um, so I could do it already now, but I will not. And I can apply risk management. In this case, I have to accept once again. And what does it mean, risk management? It means that you can say at what level of loss the strategy is automatically stopped, which is a brilliant idea as well. On the one hand, okay, you might think, hmm, then I'm stopped out of the strategy uh, and later the strategy turned back into the profits. Yeah, then I miss the profits. Yes, that's indeed. But that's uh, what risk management is about. Everybody has different preferences and therefore we, we uh, go for different um, possibilities here. And in my case, I would put that level to 100 because I'm in total willing, for example, if I go with those 3K into that strategy, I'm willing to accept total loss of that sub-strategy because for me, it's only a sub-strategy. It's my portfolio. And therefore, uh, I would be willing for that. 
and then just follow Hyperion, then you're done. But let's go back here to 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 that uh, success story about this account here. So let's have a review on that as well. So and that's just by pressing um, the, the upper hand um, button here, and then we can uh, go for for a view on that account in the same way. Then we have viewed or reviewed all the strategies. Um, let me press it once again because I have a little bit here uh, connection problems as always if I do webinars simultaneously and uh, I'm acting in the internet as well. Now we got it here and that's, uh, that's quite cool of that platform that you can even review your own JFT Invest account in the same way then you review all single strategies. And now we have the growth, which is exceeding the 45%. And we can have a view here on equity balance deviation as well. And uh, now you can see the big advantage of any portfolio. Because if we are dealing with a portfolio, then we can reduce exactly, for example, equity balance deviation as in this case. And the other good thing is you can see that all the, mm, the individual months have been uh, green meaning positive yeah that's quite well as well so um, the account is really doing an extremely good job and that's what you can achieve with jfd invest by your own as well let's have a view and traded instruments okay that list is long uh it's, i think it's about uh, 30 different instruments having traded during the last seven months more than 2000 trades so that's once again statistics and uh yeah, we have a perfect growth um, with that uh, strategy. So working well, uh, and hopefully you have the same results within your JFD Invest account. You see always in those webinars where I'm allocated as we speak and all those changes uh, I mentioned in the webinar as well. So great success. Going now for Hyperion um, as being part of my personal portfolio and uh, yeah, let's see how it develops over the next uh, couple of weeks and you will see next week as well. That's for now. Enjoy the day. Enjoy the weekend. See you back next week. Bye-bye.